Hi there, my hammocking and outdoor friends. Maybe some ad riding friends as well. I have uh, got a lot of questions about the uh, amok hammocks uh, since my last video about these. I can put a link below for that video or in the end. And that is how the new ultralight uh, system compares to the new 5.0 amok system. So, so I will show you something about the packing volume and weights and so on because that differs and of course I have got some other questions as well and we will get to that. Here I have packed my ultralight amok system in this you see how nice and snug it packs a complete set with uh, hammock top and sleeping pad. Okay so you see how snug it fits. For this comparison I use my dry bags from the uh, Moscomoto Reckless 80 system. Of course that is what I use when I'm ad ride, but you can easily convert this to day packs or other dry bags as well to understand the difference. So this is the ultralight system packed into one dry bag. A complete set and it's not compressed or anything, it's just packed. And we can compare these two dry bags with the 5.0 Amok system and the ultralight system. Quite a difference in volume. The 5.0 packs really nice as well. The difference is though that if we look, start to look at the ultralight system, that is this is the ultralight tarp, the Skjold 10 ultralight. And this is the new Fuel XL ultralight. And the Amok ultralight XL. The difference is it uses a lot of more space and then more difficult to pack. So this is one of the benefits with the ultralight system except from the weight of course. And roughly it differs about one kilo between these two systems. So this is how the ultralight system looks like if you compress all three of them or like I have to pack them in the dry bag like this. Here you have the Amok Draumer 5.0 with its three season sleeping pad and the new Skjold 10. This is an Excel system as well the ultralight system is Excel. So here you see the difference. Quite a difference and a difference in weight. As I said, it's roughly one kilo in difference between these two systems. And uh, if you look the, at them one by one, we could start with the tarp, Skjold 10, and Skjold 10 Ultralight. Not much of a difference, but there is. The weight difference is 135 grams between these two and to be honest I like the color of the the normal one more. I've used them I, I think this ultralight feels as sturdy as the as this more heavy duty one or normal one. And then we could go to the one of the most interesting stuff here and that is actually the mattress. Quite a difference. I have not packed it as snug, but this is what you can expect and, and the size difference 
is like this. It's a huge difference on the mattress. And the, the Fuel XL Ultralight has a comfort temp down to minus 7 degrees Celsius, while the Fuel XS has a comfort temp down to 4 minus. So this is considered to be three season sleeping pads. I have used them down to 4 minus with good comfort, this one. I have not tried this one uh, winter time yet. And the weight difference between these are 330 grams. These ones makes the biggest difference in packing volume. Quite impressive. And then we come to the, the hammocks, the main part. Uh, that is not really much of a difference in, in volume when you when you've not compressed them. However, this you can squeeze this a lot more than this. It's a lot more stiff packed, the Drauma XL. The weight difference between these two is 540 grams and that really impressive. So the largest weight difference is on the hammock and then the mattress. Let's compress these ones and see how small they will be in the compression squat wrap. I actually don't pack them like this because they get so stiff so I think they get harder to pack actually. And I need to be careful. <clears throat> to the record I have these aluminum sticks packed into these ones. But you see quite different if you compress them. Actually, if you like to compress them, I don't. Especially not with the sticks inside, because you could damage the hammocks. So that was it with the packing volume. It doesn't look like a huge difference in the packing system like this when I only pack the, this, uh, this sleeping system. But when I pack this bag full with other stuff, like my stove or my sleeping bag and other stuff, then every little part of the volume and, and what you can squeeze in there counts. But this doesn't say which one you should choose. I just want to show you the difference. I will also show you one other thing that is very interesting because many ask which one to choose and if there are any sacrifices with the Draumer Ultralight compared to the Draumer 5.0. And I would say in the functionality you don't sacrifice anything with the Ultralight. You have the same kind of storage and, uh, and, func and functions on, on the hammocks. I, I have showed you that in an earlier video. The second question, is this as durable as the 5.0? This feels like bone proof compared, I must say, and this is, you see through it and so on, but this is a very, very durable material, even if it's lightweight. However, I'm not going to tell you the difference in durability, because I'm going to use this Draumer Ultralight this year as my camping hammock, because I'm very curious on how it holds up. And then you will get a review after the season, maybe after the full season. And last, but very important, I'm going to show you one combination as well. If you for some reason think that you won't compromise with the hammock and like this one and could handle that it weighs more than a half kilo more, then my suggestion is, by my experience so far, is that the perfect combination is the Draumer 5.0 with the ultralight sleeping pad combined with the ultralight tarp. Because my experience so far is that these two ultralight sleeping pad and tarp is as good as the full ver versions. So, if you combine these three, you get a combination with a very durable feeling in the hammock, but also one half kilo approximately less in weight if you compare to go full uh, Draumer 5.0 system and non-ultralight. 
So this is to me a really winner combination for those who are concerned about the ultralight uh, hammock, which you shouldn't be actually. Thing is also that the benefits you have with ultralight system in packing volume is something that you also get with this combination. Then you get pretty much the exact packing volume that you get with the Drummer ultralight. Very small difference actually. So this could be a winner for you. So I hope this was somewhat helpful. Uh, when you are going to choose which Amok Draumer Hammock is the best one for you. And this is the Excel system that I have compared. Okay, that was it for today and see you on the next one.